All right, Platoon, this is it. This is it. Say goodbye to the comforts of home. This is going to be the last business video for quite a while. We are going on the road. This is going to be some hardcore shit henceforth. Uh, I don't believe that we are going to see civilization for the next, I estimate, half a dozen episodes. So let's get ready. All right. Uh, we have a whole bunch of perk points saved up. Four perk points. Let's get Armorer rank one, Blacksmith rank one, Big Leagues rank one, and Science rank one. Number two, let's repair and mod our power armor. It's looking pretty rusty and it's a little bit busted up. Quiet, you, we're doing a walkthrough here. Let's repair everything. Everything's repaired. Now let's start modding. We're going to put the Model C mod on everything. We've got all the components to do so, okay? Model C. And the Hot Rod Flames Paint. If we put that on all the pieces, it will increase our agility by one. All right? So that's the point of doing that. And we'll get to the Material Mod or the, uh, yeah, the Material Mod later on. Not the Material Mod, sorry. The Miscellaneous Mod, all right? First of all, We'll do all the pieces with the Model C and the Hot Rod Flames. The Model C mod will bump up the damage rating on all our pieces. Note that the Hot Rod Flames paint mod requires no, pe no components. We got that from the magazine that we got at the robotics. Um, What's it called? The Robotics Disposal Ground. Let me just focus on modding here so I don't fumble finger it up. There we go. Flames and C on everything. Let's go back to helmet. This is a personal personal preference. You may not want to do this, but I, I like to do this. Um, headlamp, I like headlamp bright. The only thing is it costs some nuclear material. Okay, and nuclear material is quite, quite valuable and rare. So you may not want to do this. I personally like to do this because I like a nice bright headlamp on my power arms. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, back to miscellaneous mod. All of these require science ranks that are above our pay grade right now. All we have is science rank one, so all these mods that go on the helmet, we can't do, so we'll just ignore that. Uh, on the arms, I want optimized bracers. No miscellaneous mod, optimized bracers, okay? Reduces action point cost for power attacks. This is very important, and it's going to go perfectly with a special melee weapon that I'm going to acquire later on. All right, and you'll see about that later. Okay, it's all planned because I highly recommend that you get this optimized bracers. Um, the components cost is quite cheap. Okay, rubber, ceramic, aluminum, and adhesive. Right, so get that on both arms. Here we go. Miscellaneous mod, optimized bracers. Here we go. Optimized bracers on both arms. Next, um, torso blood cleanser. This will reduce. Um, the chance of getting addicted to drugs. Here we go, blood cleanser reduces the chance for addiction from drugs. That's great. And it only requires science rank one and the components cost once again is quite cheap. So let's get that, why not? Put that on the torso, torso rather, and that's it. There's, there's nothing else we can do. Okay, so that is our power armor modded up. Looking pretty snazzy there, eh? Next, um, let me just take a look at my intel here. Intel says, yeah, the baby sniper, we don't need the short scope on this anymore. This is gonna become a close combat weapon. So let's yank off the short scope and put on some glow sights. Once again, this is gonna cost nuclear material. Because uh, in a practice run, I ran short of nuclear material about a dozen episodes later and I'm not going to go for it anyways, why not? 
There we go, so glow sights, this is our new close combat weapon. And now we are going to rename it the 38 Slackinator, since it's no longer a sniper. There we go. So there's our weaponry. Next, I'm going to do the same thing that I did at the Starlight Drive-In. Take out all components, or all junk, and convert it to raw components. Uh, let's make some space. That didn't really make much space. Um, let's throw in all aid. Hang on, let me just see if I can take all the, because uh, I don't really want to... Yeah, that'll work. I'm going to throw on everything that I have an aid to lighten the load a bit so we can take off all the junk. Everybody goes in. There we go. So lots of room now. Let's go back to junk. Okay, everything except raw components, pre war money and the gold bars, all right? And I'm just gonna take my time doing this so I don't fumble finger something I don't accident, like I don't wanna accidentally scrap something I don't mean to. So I'm just gonna, I'll just fast forward it. How about that, okay? Ah, cans. Don't scrap cans either, any kind of cans. You're going to be using those to repair your power armor, all right? All junk on board. Let's go to a nice big open space and dump all the junk on the ground. Except the Abraxo cleaner and the acid. There we go, all junk on the ground. Once again, this is for the purpose of being able to see exactly which raw components we can bring with us instead of having to mastermind it, you know, which junk to bring with you in order to make mods while we're on the road. Just convert it all to raw components and then we just bring the exact components we need. That's number one. Number two, when you're out there in the wilderness and you come across a weapons workbench or whatever, an armor workbench that is not, you know, um, tied to a settlement, that weapons workbench or armor workbench will require raw components in order for you to make mods. It will not um, draw off your supply of junk. It will not sort through your junk and say, okay, there's some heat adhesive, there's some screws, and then just scrap the junk automatically and use that. It, will not, it won't allow you to do that. You can only do that with crafting benches that are in settlements, all right? So this is another very good reason to convert all your junk to raw components, okay? It only takes a minute or two. So here we go, I'll just skip ahead. done. Let's go check out our junk list. Junk, and you see everything is raw components now, all right? Okay, so we're going to make some specific mods to some weapons that we're going to acquire later on. And for that, I've got a list of exactly what I need here. So we're going to bring just that. And we're short on adhesive, strangely enough. Okay, so we need eight adhesive, we're a little short on that. We need eight circuitry. Four crystal. Okay, we have no crystal. Four fiber optics, we have no fiber optics. Okay, so we need crystal and fiber optics. Fiberglass, we need two. Glass, we need six. Nuclear material, we need five. We only have one. Plastic, we need 13. Let's 
screws you need eight. Silver we need four. And springs we need two. Okay, let me just double check that here. Very good. Okay, all cans and bottles out. Cans. I think I'm going to need lead too. Cans. I think we got all the bottles. That's it. Let's take off all our food back. I'm just gonna take everything and then go through the list and dump off what I'm sure I won't need. Of all the things that you require, aid is the most important out in the road. All right. Okay. What do I definitely not need? Need that, need that, need that. Potato is what I don't need. Here we go. Everything else I'm bringing just in case. Okay, cook drugs and cook food. What can we cook? Mentats. Um, let me just check to see how much psycho I got. We don't want to make too much psycho because we're going to do the Diamond City Blues mission, which will give us a whack ton of Psycho, Jet, and Mentats, I believe, if I recall correctly. So I just want to make just enough. I don't want to spend all my hub flower on Psycho. How much Psycho we've got? I'd say, I don't know, we might even find some. I've got three. Let's make a couple more. That should be enough. Okay, and how about Psycho Buff? How much can we convert to Psycho Buff 2? There we go. Can't make any jet fuel yet because we don't know how many flame refuel, and that is it. How about healing? Refreshing beverage. First, let's check for antibiotics. Yep, definitely. There we go. Now we have no more stim packs. That's okay. We're going to get some more later on. Um, refreshing beverage. Do you have a moment? No, I don't. I kind of busy here doing a walkthrough. Only we'd run into you sooner. I'm good with that. Food. Pick up that death claw steak for some emergency health recovery. Some grilled rad stag to add to our carry weight, and that's all the food we can cook up. Any beverages? Make purified water, no soup. Nope. And we don't want to make any vegetable starch. That's that. I think we're ready to rock and roll. Let's have one last sleep and then hit the road. Sleep total, uh, let's say, let's just sleep an hour because we're going to make a pit stop down at the Drumlin Diner. And I got thirsty sleeping. Properly hydrated, let's have something to nosh on because we're hungry. Organized by value, up to the top. All food is on board, so let's have a couple of sugar bombs for breakfast. That always makes a good breakfast. And a couple of cans of pork and beans. Hockey of the weaponry. Don't have any weaponry. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, we want that. Actually, I'm going to take all this weaponry because I'm going to sell it. And all the apparel. Did I remember to bring the, uh, the pre-war money and the gold? Let me just double check here. Gold bars are on board. Pre-war money is on board. We're good. 
General Cal's Revenge, that should be number three. The Slackinator should be number four. My 10 mil pistol should be number five. Jet should be number six. Do I have any jet? Yes, I do. And number one should be some kind of like emergency munchables. How about uh, some kind of like wild? Oh, I don't have any wildflowers or wild veg wild veggies. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure I got some more food down at the uh, the dr the. Uh, Starlight driving. Let's go there now. That's it. Bye, Mom. <laughs> on the road again. Rambling on. That's it. We're on the road. One quick stop at the dr at the uh, Starlight Drive. We're going to pick up some stuff there, run it over, sell it off. Just for some quick chump change, and then we we're on the road. Seriously, on the road. No excuses. Done and done. Let me just quick. You cannot save when enemies are nearby. Oh my gosh! Don't die, 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 oh my gosh, shit. I wonder if I have any medics. This is poison resistance medics. Um, look how much my health took a hit. I would say this is an emergency. I hope my um, Nuka Cola Quantum is there. All right. You fucking blowfly. Yeah. Die. See my health bar? See how fast it's going up? That's what happens when you when you take a Nuka Cola Quantum. It's like it zaps up your health pretty much instantly. Okay, that took me by surprise. That was like, that was a close one. <laughs> Almost had to trash a video. Uh, okay, now, uh, let me quickly save the game before that happens again. Done and done. Now, I want to run a couple of things over to the Drumlin Diner, just make some quick cash. So I just want to empty out all my aid to make some space. And I don't consider this an important selling session, so I'm not going to use great mentats, but it will bring a beer, and that should do it to mop up my charisma a little bit. And then we have some space. Let's load up as much as we can on any spare weapons and apparel. Sell that fat man. Uh, don't need both these miniguns. Don't even need one of them actually. Let's take that one on board. Yeah, we can. And um, a pipe pistol. There we go. Now I'm just gonna run it over without using my power armor. Okay. Just take a chance. Save wear and tear on the power armor, and run it over. Oh, I'm Thursday. And I'm sick. What have I got this time? I have insomnia. I can tolerate that. Shields up, Scotty. <laughs> 
Okay. Yeah, it's only 100 meters away. So, so save wear and tear on the power armor and just run it over by hand, take a chance. It's probably cl pretty clear all the way. Hopefully enemies didn't respawn there, which sometimes happens at the Dremlin Diner. Any bad boys here? Looks good. If you're here to trade, let's trade. Okay, hang on. As is the case whenever I do business out in the wasteland. I gotta be half in the bag. Okay, here we go. Let's see what you have. It's all worth every cap I'm charging. Alarm clock. I see alarm clock. Great. That's one of the things I was looking for. Nuclear material. Thank you very much. Let's see what other nuclear material. Or, um, what else do I need? I forgot. Fiberglass. That's okay. We can get the uh, crystal. Anything with crystal. Bingo! Excellent! Excellent! Crystal. Adhesive I also need, but we're going to get tons of adhesive on the way, so I don't really need to buy this. More nuclear material. Excellent, excellent. Uh, circuitry. I don't believe I'm short on circuitry. There's some more crystal. This is a good haul. Here's some more crystal. A little bit of lead. Uh, fiberglass. I forget if I'm short on that. Let me just check my junk. No, I'm not. It's fiber optics. That's the one. Fiber optics. So there's one. There's two. And we're good with that. Okay, now, it's going to buy everything else that she has for sale. Except for, like, you know, anything that I, could, I think I might be able to use, especially in the uh, aid department. Like that. Yeah, why not? Iguana bits, we can convert, convert that into food. <clears throat> um, a couple of beers. I always take a couple of beers for the road. Crispy squirrel bits, definitely. A couple of stim packs, not too many. We can't afford. And somebody was saying I should buy a sweet, get a sweet roll. It's always better if you find a sweet roll and carry it around for good luck. Buying a sweet roll is not as lucky. <laughs> okay, I'm good with that. Let's sell her some shit. Don't need these. Sell the fat man. Knuckles, minigun. Watching your counter when it gets to near uh, 250, that's it. Yeah, that worked out quite nicely. That'll do. I don't need this. And how about a burnt out fusion core? Nope. Yep. Bingo. 13 bucks. Perfect. That's it. That's it for the business for, for quite a while. 
And what's going on here? <laughs> I have insomnia, but I'm under the effects of a beer and some medics. <laughs> I'm medicated, boys and girls. I am medicated. <laughs> Okay, back to aid. Now, I don't need all that. So I tell you what, I'm going to sort through this off camera, but that is generally it. Henceforth, we are going into combat. Okay, that, that's that's the last business video for quite a while. Okay, you guys are going to be begging me for a business video. All right, seriously. Um, yeah, we're going to combat. And we're going to do a whole bunch of locations all the way down to Diamond City. Tons of locations. Uh, let me just scroll through my notes here. Corvega Assembly Plant, Jalbert Brothers. Cambridge Police Station, Hangman's Alley, uh, Boston Public Library, and a couple of others that I forgot to take notes on yet, but we're, we're hitting up a lot of places. Lots of combat. So that's it. Let me just quickly save the game. I'll see you on the flip side when we start heading south into the wasteland. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, please subscribe to my channel for more kick-ass Fallout 4 survival beta videos. My name is Major Slack and I am out of here.